Hello my chariots, welcome back to my channel. This is for Libra, love reading for the month of November 2020. What we'll do is take a look at your energy, your person's energy, pull a couple oracle cards and some messages from my orange picture here, and we'll see if anything resonates. So before we get started, I just wanted to say thank you. Thank you for all my followers and supporters out there. It's been wonderful. I feel so grateful that I was able to start this uh, channel and I've just been having a lot of fun with it and I really enjoy it. So I wanted to say thank you, thank you, thank you. So if we get started for Libra now, Spirit, I would like to have some cards on how their energy is and the energy of their person for the month of November, November 2020, love reading. Okay, we have the Hierophant, we have the Magician, he's been coming up a lot lately, we have the Hermit, we have the Queen of Wands, we have the Seven of Swords, and we have the Seven of Pentacles. On the bottom of the deck, we have death. All right, Libra, let's see what's going on in your connection. The overall energy that I am feeling for you, Libra, is a rebirth a renewal, a starting over when it comes to this connection. So I feel like there was a rebirth when you met this person that you have, uh, that you're thinking about, that you have in question, and it has caused the both of you to want to take this leap of faith, to want to uh, try something new, uh, and just kind of plunge into it with, you know, and take that risk because there's this feeling that if you do, it will bring you complete happiness. So that's the overall energy that I'm getting. Uh, for one person, whether it's you or your person, we have the Hierophant here and the Magician. So with these are two major arcana cards and with the Hierophant and the Magician, that is telling me that this person believes that this connection uh, is something that they want to manifest, something new that they wanna create, something that they want to move forward with. And with the Hierophant here, that's telling me that they feel that this connection is all about a higher learning that they're being called, that they're being directed by the universe, by spirit, by above, whatever you call that higher energy. But something is causing um, you or your person to move towards this connection because they have that feeling that that's where they're being guided. Um, the other person has been in a hermit mode, so there has been some quiet going on because I believe that this person has been really doing some deep inner reflection. Okay, they've been going within, they've been taking a time out, they might be in hiding, so I wouldn't be surprised if you and this person that you're thinking about or you have this connection with or in a situation with, has um, not spoken if there's quietness because I feel like this person has been really spending a lot of time focusing inwards. When you look at the hermit, you see that that light, that and and that's a sign that they're following their inner light, their inner their intuition. They're trying to uh, follow their inner guidance and see where it leads them. But they also have this Queen of Wands energy. The Queen of Wands. Uh, this is a beautiful energy. Uh, the wands are a fire energy that refers to that spiritual energy that drives us. And the queen of wands, she is all-knowing. She is intuitive. She has psychic abilities. And she is beautiful. She is sensual. 
So I feel that your person or this is or you, however it resonates, is in this energy of desire and willpower, action, passion, that there's these high feelings for the other person and they really want to move that forward. We also have here as the combined energy, we have the Eight of Pentacles and the Seven of Swords. Now the Seven of Swords can represent lying, trickery, deceit, but it also can represent, and what I'm gathering from this reading by looking at the other cards is, since this falls under the combined energy of both of you, both you and your connection, what I'm seeing is that both of you might have a fear of being your true authentic selves. So you're kind of wearing masks. You're hiding in this. You, ever, you see this person, he's carrying these swords away. It's, it also could sometimes represent the fear of wanting to run away. But he's also dressed in these, this, this um, clothing. And it's almost, you know, he has this red hat and this uh, cloak on over and these red boots. And what I'm feeling is that... Both of you are afraid to show each other who you really are. You're, you're afraid there's some fear going on in wanting to show that your true authentic self. Uh, so we might have some of that going on, but at the same time, there's also, we have here the Eight of Pentacles, and the Eight of Pentacles is all about mastery, okay? And it's about skill, learning a skill, sort of becoming really good at something, being a perfectionist. So what this is showing me then as your combined energy is this is a connection or a relationship or a situation that both of you, both you and your person want to work on this. You both really want to put the effort in. You really want to work hard towards this connection and you really want to give it a, your all and you want it to make it work. So that's the combined energies. Let's take a look. Let's get two cards from the angel answers and see what kind of guidance we're getting from the angels regarding this connection. This is for Libra for the month of November, please. I'll take two cards for guidance for Libra for the month of November. We have compromise and we have yes so that is telling me and let's look at the bottom of the deck it's up to you so to me this is Aram your angels telling you that it's up to you in how you want to take this connection forward so that's telling me they're just uh, letting you know, reassuring you that it's always your choice. It's always up to you whether or not uh, you want to continue something or not. But if you choose to, to remember to always compromise when it comes to uh, a relationship, a situation, to follow that give and take, that yin and yang balance in order for things to work out. But I feel like if you do choose to move forward and you are completely happy in where this connection is going, your answer is yes. Yes with an exclamation point, meaning yes, you are headed in the right direction. Yes, where you are is where you need to be right now. So Libra, I hope that helped you. And I'm going to, before I close out the reading, just pull a bunch of these messages and see if anything resonates for you. And we'll see what we have here. We have X. We have flexible. And we have intuitive which intuitive falls with that hermit mode. Flexible obviously goes with compromise. We have energetic, so I feel like with the queen of wands here, that's true. We have peaceful. We have the number 15. And we have the number 28. We have the number 30. We also have loving, so either you or your person, they think of you as loving. We have warmth. 
we have the number two. We have the number three and we have cautious. Okay, so Libra, that is your reading for the month of November. I hope it resonated with you and I will see you again soon. Bye.